Why INFJs find it hard to leave toxic relationships? Have you ever watched a friend stay in a relationship that's tearing them apart and wondered why they just can't walk away? If that friend is an INFJ, you might be witnessing a profound inner struggle that goes far beyond simple attachment. INFJs, known for their deep empathy, intuition, and nurturing spirit, often find it incredibly difficult to leave toxic relationships. Today, we're diving into why INFJs, despite their intelligence and insight, can feel so trapped in harmful relationships, and what it takes for them to finally break free. If you're an INFJ or know someone who is, stick around to learn what's really happening under the surface. INFJs, or people with the Myers-Briggs personality type known as introverted, intuitive, feeling and judging, are famously empathetic, caring and deeply committed to others. They bring a rare combination of emotional intelligence, insight, and loyalty to relationships, which can be both a strength and a vulnerability. But these same qualities often make it hard for INFJs to leave a toxic relationship. INFJs not only form intense emotional connections but also feel a powerful sense of duty to heal and understand others, even at the expense of their own well-being. 1. Deep empathy and the desire to heal. INFJs are natural empaths who feel deeply for others, often absorbing other people's emotions as if they were their own. In a toxic relationship, this means they might feel an overwhelming responsibility to help their partner heal or fix the issues at the core of the relationship. They tend to believe that their empathy can make a difference, that if they love deeply enough, their partner will change. Unfortunately, this desire to heal often traps them in a cycle of trying to save their partner, even when it's clear that the relationship is causing harm. 2. Strong sense of duty and responsibility. INFJs feel a deep responsibility toward the people they care about, often prioritizing others' needs over their own. When they enter a relationship, especially a serious one, they commit fully. They see relationships as sacred bonds and don't give up on them easily. This sense of duty can be so strong that an INFJ might feel guilt or shame even thinking about leaving, fearing they are abandoning someone who needs them. Their loyalty often keeps them anchored in toxic relationships far longer than is healthy. 3. Fear of abandoning someone who needs them. For INFJs, the idea of abandoning someone who depends on them can be deeply unsettling. In toxic relationships, INFJs often believe their partner needs them, perhaps to help them manage their emotional struggles or life issues. Even if they are mistreated or manipulated, INFJs might convince themselves that leaving would do more harm to their partner. This feeling of obligation keeps them bound to unhealthy dynamics, sometimes sacrificing their own mental and emotional health in the process. 4. Tendency to rationalize or justify the other person's behavior. INFJs are highly perceptive and can often see the root causes of a person's actions or behaviors. In toxic relationships, they may recognize that their partner's toxic behaviors stem from trauma, insecurity, or past pain. This insight can make it hard for INFJs to hold their partner accountable, as they tend to sympathize with their struggles instead. They may rationalize hurtful behaviors, telling themselves that their partner is acting out of their own pain. This justification becomes a reason to stay, even when the relationship continues to hurt them. 5. Self-doubt and gaslighting. INFJs are introspective and often question themselves deeply, a trait that can be amplified when they are exposed to gaslighting, a common tactic in toxic relationships. Gaslighting can make an INFJ question their own reality, leading them to doubt their perception of what's happening. Over time, they might start believing that they are overreacting or that the issues are all in their head, which creates even more confusion and self-doubt. This uncertainty makes it difficult for INFJs to trust their instincts and recognize that leaving the relationship might be the healthiest choice. 6. Overinvestment in Potential INFJs are idealists at heart, often seeing not only who people are but who they could become. This focus on potential means they might stay in a toxic relationship longer, hoping for a future where their partner has grown or changed. 
INFJs often believe in people's ability to improve and will invest significant emotional energy to help them achieve that potential. Unfortunately, this focus on future possibilities can prevent them from acknowledging the present reality, keeping them in a relationship that may never truly improve. 7. Difficulty prioritizing self-care and personal boundaries. INFJs are naturally nurturing, and in relationships, they can easily fall into the role of caregiver. However, this can lead them to neglect their own needs, especially in a toxic relationship where their partner constantly demands attention and validation. Setting boundaries is hard for INFJs because they're worried about causing conflict or seeming selfish. Over time, this lack of boundaries leaves them drained, emotionally exhausted, and unable to prioritize their own well-being. 8. Sensitivity to Conflict and Criticism INFJs are sensitive to conflict and deeply affected by criticism, especially from someone they care about. In toxic relationships, their partners may use this sensitivity to control them, making them feel inadequate or unworthy. This fear of conflict can paralyze an INFJ, making them reluctant to assert their needs or stand up for themselves, as they fear it will lead to more criticism or a breakdown in the relationship. 9. Desire for Closure and Understanding INFJs crave understanding and closure, often needing to make sense of a situation before they feel comfortable moving on. In a toxic relationship, this can manifest as a relentless need to understand why their partner behaves the way they do, or to find closure in the relationship. Unfortunately, toxic partners rarely provide closure, leaving INFJs stuck in an endless cycle of trying to understand and fix the unfixable. 10. Fear of loneliness and isolation. As introverts, INFJs often have a small but close circle of relationships, and they invest heavily in those connections. Leaving a relationship can mean facing an unsettling period of loneliness, which can be daunting for INFJs who value deep emotional bonds. The fear of losing a significant connection, even a toxic one, can be enough to keep them from leaving. 11. Hope for Redemption and Transformation INFJs believe strongly in personal growth and redemption, not just for themselves but for others as well. In a toxic relationship, they often hold on to hope that their partner will see the light, change, or realize their mistakes. This hope, rooted in the INFJ's idealism, can make it difficult for them to let go, as they may see leaving as giving up on someone's chance for redemption. 12. Exhaustion and Emotional Burnout Over time, the emotional and mental strain of a toxic relationship can lead to burnout for INFJs. This burnout is compounded by their tendency to push through and endure rather than give up. By the time they recognize they're emotionally exhausted, it's often reached a critical point where leaving feels almost impossible due to their depleted mental resources. They may need significant time and support to recharge and gain the strength to break free. INFJs face unique challenges in letting go of toxic relationships, but understanding these challenges is the first step toward freedom and healing. If you're an INFJ struggling with this, remember that it's okay to prioritize your own well-being. Letting go doesn't mean you're giving up on someone, it means you're choosing to live authentically and take care of yourself. If this video helped you understand yourself or someone you know, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's continue exploring the psychology of personality and finding ways to build healthier, happier relationships.